everybody. I hope you're having a nice day. Not what my hair's doing, it's gone. It's a bit scarecrowy. Um, so it's that time of month that I'm gonna show you my fabric choices. So normally when I do a fabric haul, I've been like thinking about it all month. I've been like, oh, I've seen fabrics arrive in the shop and I've been like, let's put that one aside. Or even earlier than that, when we see fabric agents. This month, I literally came into the shop this morning and just grabbed four fabrics that I think I'd like to make some things out of. I've just been really busy and haven't had a chance to think about it. So it was quite fun though. It was a bit like supermarket sweep, dashing around. Oh, grab that one, grab that one. Anyway, I've got four, but I only really wanted to make three makes. So there's two that I'm like, mm, maybe you can help me decide on what, uh, which one to do. I'm stroking this one, so maybe we should start with this one. Okay, <laughs> he's a bit of a beast. Now, this is a tapestry fabric now. I don't know, we call it a tapestry fabric. It's got that tapestry effect. Can you see? Those colors are just gorgeous. And I know it's coming up to spring and maybe we should, I think this will be my last makes uh, that will be a little bit more wintry. But I also know that the, you know, there's no point in doing too much summery clothes because let's face it, we've clearly got another two, even three months to go of cold weather. So this one, it's definitely a wintry fabric, but I think it's fab and we only just got it in. Um, it's a woven fabric. There isn't any stretch to it. It's not much give to it. The back of it, oh, there's a pin in there. Let me take that out. Well, this is good. We've got the composition on here. 70% polyester. 70% <laughs> polyester and 27% polyamide. 3% is missing from that, but yeah, so it's a synth synthetic fabric. So we know that means it'll wash well and won't shrink. Um, and on the back, um, it looks like that. Quite like the back, actually. It's quite cool, isn't it? Blurred and things. Not as much as the front, though. So, yeah, because it's so structured. <coughs> oh, <coughs> Poppy, stop it. A dog just went past the window. Sorry, guys. Oh. So, because it's so structured, there, it's limited to what things you can do with it. So coats, you could make a Chloe coat out of it. You could make a cocoa jacket out of it. Or you could make uh, an Ava skirt. That's what I was thinking. Now I know I made an Ava skirt a little bit a while ago, but I want to make this one a little bit shorter and maybe slightly slimmer, like slightly straighter. Um, because I think this with um, yeah a chunky jumper would be cute or with a nice tight polar neck um, and some boots. So that's what I'm thinking for this. There is a direction to it actually as well. So just that's worth bearing in mind. You need a bit more fabric when there's a direction in it because um, you can't interlock the pieces kind of upside down. So yeah, that's, that's option one, um, which out of the two that I'm not sure about. So the other one, quite different and very bright and lovely um, and springy, I guess, is this one. So this is a viscose. It's beautifully soft, such a soft quality of viscose, really lovely. Some viscoses are quite fine and they crease really easily. This is not one of those. Um, really lovely colours. Um, I love that the background is grey. It's quite unusual to have that. Um, with that coral, I just think it's fab, but then it makes it really wearable because coral is obviously quite a bright colour to wear. But with the grey, I think, you know, you could put that with a grey cardigan and tone it down, or you could wear it with a coral cardigan and tone it up. Um, and I also think this palette would go really well with denim. So nice to make something that would go with jeans, perhaps. I don't know what I want to make. So I don't want to make another pussy bow blouse. Yet another. That's boring. Um, I don't want to make a shift top. I don't really want to make a blouse or a top, I don't think. I think I'd prefer to make a dress. Um, but that's quite loud, isn't it, as a dress? But what I was thinking is an Alex shirt dress, perhaps. Hmm. What do you think? I could wear it then, you see, without tights, or I could wear it with grey tights. So, yeah, that's another option. I don't think I want to, or I could make a Libby, actually. I could make a nice Libby out of this. 
But I think Libby's a bit cropped for this time of year. I'd, I prefer um, wearing her a bit later. So yeah, I think an Alex shirt dress is best. So yeah, that's this fabric. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? So gorgeous. Right, the next two I definitely know I do want to use because this actually, when it came in, or rather when I was choosing it, I had the new Nina trouser pattern in my head, thinking how lovely this would be for those. So as you all know, that came out last week. And if you don't know, last week we released a class, um, a new online class, an advanced trouser making class, which is um, the, with two patterns. So our cigarette pants, which we released a long time ago and a lot of you have been asking for that pattern to be released so it's great that we've been able to do that and then a new one that no one has seen which is the Nina trousers um, and there as you can see they're fly fronted high waisted um, belt loops and all of that um, and by both of them you have the option of putting a welt pocket in so really lovely trousers and they'll really push your skills so lots and lots of skills to learn in the online class for that um, and the samples that we have are in the shop. We don't actually have that many samples. We have samples that we shot on a model, um, Vicky, and she, we actually gave her um, the trousers because she just looks so amazing in them. Um, so they went to her. Then I had a, one pair of trousers, well, like one pair, the one that you can see in the photo. Um, but yeah, they need to be in the shop. So I haven't got any. So here we are. I can make some out of these. Now, when I saw this, I thought this would just be fab for a real sort of 1940s look so I can imagine wearing these trousers with a really lovely knitted jumper like fine knitted jumper or something or even cardigan um, because yeah it's kind of to get that in a sort of 1940s vibe um, or I've also got a really nice sort of brown tight basic top which um, I think would look fab with it so this is a hundred percent wool Yep, it is 100% wool. It feels gorgeous and it's got a lovely drape to it. So wool can be deceptive because if you read wool online, you'll think, you immediately think, oh, thick, heavy coat fabric. But wool can come in very fine we weaves um, and men can have, you know, if you think about a men's tailored suit for the winter, would often, you know, a nice one, would be 100% wool and that's fine fabric. So this is that type of fabric um, it's got drape to it, uh, it's very wearable, it's not going to be itchy like wool um, can be. Um, so yes, and what else could you make out of this if you're thinking? So uh, you could make a Joan dress out of this, you could make a pencil skirt out of this, you could make an Ava skirt out, you could make, you could make the ultimate trousers out of this as well, or the cigarette pants, it's very much a trouser one. Um, you could make... Hmm, you could probably make a, so I'm looking at the sample rail, you could probably make an Anna coat. Yeah, I think that would work. Might have it. No, it'd be nice, yeah. So lots of options. Um, right, so that is definitely one I'm going to make. So um, I look forward to having those in my wardrobe. And then the last thing is a bigger wool. So I tried this week or rather this month to choose some slightly different fabrics so that you know you're seeing some different type fabrics made up um, and so I've gone with this uh, wool which is a wool composition so it's got polyester and wool in this and how lovely is that colour? Oh so lovely, I love this colour, mint, um, I think it's one of my colours. I would love to have my colours done by the way, has anyone had that done? Really interested by that? Because I'd like to know if I've been getting it right all these years or if I've been getting it wrong. Um, but yeah, I think that would be a fun thing to do. I digress, back to the fabric. So yeah, this is a lovely wool. This is definitely a wool for uh, coats. Now it's on the back. Mm, slightly, it's not really fluffy or anything, but it's definitely got an obvious back on the front it's a little bit like a, it's like a melton wool which is a still quite a thin wool um some wools are really quite thick like a boot clay is often a really thick heavy wool but so this is quite a thin one and i thought well given that we're kind of starting to move in between seasons wouldn't this be a good uh chloe coat 
and again the Chloe coats have disappeared completely from my wardrobe I don't know where they all are I guess they're in sample rails so I feel like I, I need a Chloe coat in my life so as a lot of you will know the Chloe coat has just been released as a pattern let me get the front cover to show you How cool is that? Our wonderful, talented illustrator Anna did another, yet another fab illustration of the ladies looking glamorous and elegant in their Chloe coats. So, um, oh hi Poppy. Poppy wants to get up. She's a bit wet though. Don't sit on the fabric, you're really wet. And now you're blocking, you're blocking it. Now, go over there. Poppy sit, sit, Poppy sit. Sit. She's out of camera now, guys. Oh, here she comes back again. Yeah. Just sit there, Poppy. Sit, 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 sit. She literally, I have just like, I have, no, no, not licking the fabric. This is not the velvet sofa. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Go away. Go away. Um, I've lost what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Chloe coats, really want a Chloe coat. Is that it? Anyway, I'm gonna make a Chloe coat. <laughs> Poppy's now down here. She's literally there. Maybe she's out of shot. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna definitely do three. Um, and maybe I'll do the, do the, do four and I'll do both of those other two florally fabrics, but I don't think I'll have time because it's going to be a very busy month. So um, that's it for now. It's a Wednesday today. It's meeting day, hence why I'm filming in the shop. Um, and um, the team are actually going to be filming a vlog, very special vlog for you guys um, for next week today. So that's exciting and make sure you tune in for that. I know a lot of you love seeing the teammates, so I think you'll like this. Um, and those of you that came to the knit and stitch show thank you so much for coming up to say hi or for coming to our stand and checking it out it was such a great show i feel like we had met so many lovely new customers and also our lovely existing customers it's just really nice to get out and about and meet more of you um because i know a lot of you don't live near london and some people had flown in from i met people who had flown in from uh, from Holland, um, somebody from California, like the knit and stitch show is like, because there isn't anything like that anywhere else, I think people travel for it. So that was exciting to, to hear people had come so far. And we are definitely thinking of doing more shows because we can see that it's really good to get out and about. So we're hoping to, we'll definitely be doing the Alley Pally and we're hoping to also do the Harrogate knit and stitch show, which is later on in the year. But any of you who are North, um, England uh, then yeah you might go to the knit and stitch in Harrogate we're planning on doing that one um, as well and then yeah we'll see how we go maybe we'll keep adding extra shows in throughout over the years I don't want to commit to it and then you'd be like you said you were gonna go there and you're not so Harrogate we're pretty certain we're going to but we haven't booked our stand yet so um, it's not absolutely definite anyway that's it what other news do I have so as you know I went to Florida and in Florida, in Naples, Florida, there was this amazing shop called Audrey's. It was Audrey's. Um, and uh, yeah, vintage kind of um, store. So they sold vintage clothes and they also sold designer kind of secondhand clothes as well. And it's a consignment store. Um, anyway, and this is a 1950s cashmere cardigan that I got there. Look at that beading. So nice. So. I was really like feeling like, oh, I've got a lovely cardigan on getting dressed this morning. And Matt said I looked like a matador. And I didn't know what a matador was. He was like, oh, you know, the bullfighter guys. Hola. It's like, great. Thanks. You've literally just ruined one of my favorite pieces in the wardrobe. Now, every time I look in the mirror, that's what I'm going to see. Um, so thanks for that, Matt. Um, and um, yes, I've done a video for the other, my other channel for Lisa Comfort on all the things that I bought from the vintage shop and also other bits that I picked up in Florida. So a bit of a, a holiday haul, nice fun video to watch. So if you're interested, head over to that channel. I will put a link in the comments so, to the video to make it easy. 
All right then, I will go because I need to stop waffling and get on with the day. Um, have lovely weeks, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.